Yeah, so let's go on ahead and jump on over to Tuesday Night Impact Wrestling. We'll kind of run through this quickly. So uh, Impact Wrestling, a lot going on. Here we are. The momentum's going now of second episode post anniversary, And kind of like I said, this refresh, restart button for uh, Impact Wrestling. Uh, Richard, what are some of your takeaways from this week's episode of Impact? I have my finger on the fast forward button through a lot of it. Oh, really? Uh, I think that Mike Tanay needs to come back. Um, <laughs> that would be great. Uh, I think Impact might have the best tag division in wrestling for really? one show. Really? Yeah, yeah, I could, I believe that. And I know I haven't even seen all the tag teams, but I know Reno Scum, okay, Good Brothers, yep. the North, Motor City Machine Guns, Motor Machine Machine Guns, yeah. So uh, I love the tag matches. I liked. Kimberly and Deanna Perrazzo. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was the rest of the show. Yes. All right. So let's go jump real quick. Uh, EC3, even though he's not, they say, officially part of the Impact Wrestling roster, the fact he's cutting promo videos, it speaks that he's 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 on the he's team Impact Wrestling now. But his promo, I enjoyed it. It's pretty much, long story short, he's just saying, you control your own narrative. For him specifically, he wants to change his narrative and therefore he has to go go uh, must destroy his past in order to move forward. Yeah. And he lists up all the accomplishments he had previously with in TNA slash impact wrestling, beating all the hall of famers like sting and Kurt angle, you know? <laughs> so and with that being said, he has to go destroy his past. So I'm thinking, okay, does that mean he's going to beat guys who are in the current impact roster that were around back then when he was around the first time? So is that why he's ta- already he's already done that though? Yeah, so, so it doesn't make I'm a little like, confused. I I am too. I'm not really. I'm into him. I think he's cool. I think he has a good look right now. But like his promos are nonsense to me. Yeah, so I I, I guess that explains why he attacked Moose last week. So is that mean he's going to go after uh, guys like Eddie Edwards eventually? Just anyone who? So if I'm a member of the Impact roster and I was around previously when EC3 was there before, I guess I'm going to be nervous because he could come attack me out of nowhere for just the fact that I've been loyal to Impact this whole time and stuck around. So it, that's it'll be interesting to see moving forward how EC3 is going to go back to the past in order to change his future. So I don't know, I get like time travel vibes, like the flash or something, or <laughs> that's how I kind of see it as. And then, uh, yeah, we saw the first full episode of wrestle house. Like this is impact wrestling's version. I'll, of- let, I'll let you two talk about this. Cause I didn't, I skipped it in its entirety. <laughs> so long story short, it's their reality show. Tommy dreamer has like a loft or a place that he rents out and uh, yeah, Tommy, we saw. Yeah, it's just like a really uh, cheesy type of type of reality show. Like real world. Yeah. Or so, um, what the WWE did down the uh, the Legends House. Oh yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. You know, so so it, it, long story short, I think what this storyline is good for is maybe some of the people on the roster who don't have major storylines going on TV in the ring. This is a way to kind of keep them occupied. This is like a, a alternate segment. Uh, outside the ring and so these are members of the roster who are all living in a house and this week they were fighting for bed spaces yeah we saw ace romero taking on the the clown guy yeah uh, oh um she's a crazy kind of, steve crazy, crazy steve. steve thank you richard uh they were both were fighting for the uh ring outside the ring. to yeah. sleep in yeah and uh uh so they decided to have a match and tommy dreamer since it's his house he can like he's like the commissioner he can make matches happen and he's trying to be like this cheesy game show host <laughs> type guy he's got the you know kind of the leisure suit on and it's just so tacky so i guess know? he's the the effects of that moose matches he, he uh he recovered really quickly from it right <laughs> so so they have this match outside and um uh, um ace one right or uh uh yeah ace one. i saw that ace ace put him in a coquina club yeah, yeah yeah so yeah. Ace Which is- for for like a a big super heavyweight to do that move it looked pretty cool <laughs> He and that guy moves around. Ace Romero, for anyone listening, he's the guy who went viral last year who who uh, had an indie match and some guy he, he knocked some stick figure out of the ring, you bounced know. off it. 
he bounced off the ropes and hit him like a pinball machine and just knocked, like what Keith Lee did with uh, Adam Cole you yeah, know, earlier this the, year knocked him flying out of the ring so yeah. Ace Romero has the whole ring to himself to sleep in <laughs> and then uh, uh, what was the second match it was oh, the, the, uh, the, the tag team the two tag teams because one was complaining that the other was snoring and he's <laughs> denying it and so they Cody have- Diener versus Cousin Jake yes yeah, it's- and so who won? Was it? Uh, it was. Um, I didn't even watch that. One. OK, <laughs> so one, the guy that lies, he winds up. He's like going to sleep in the uh, the tour bus, bus, the yeah. tour bus. And he's like fine with this, you know? Yeah. He, he walked complain. outside and he saw a big tour bus outside. And he's like, all right, I'll stay there. So yeah. anyway, it, this is going to be, I think, a, a very lighthearted, goofy segment week it's, to week. Yeah. Like if I you're said, into that kind of thing. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, I kind of wish there were maybe some more matches on this week's episode of Impact. And it's like, I think we barely what, got three or four. I mean, the and, match. And they and they did a replay of some older matches. So. Yeah. And that's yeah. It. So I, I guess part of it, you know, since they are taping a bunch of matches in advance, I think for time's sake, they're filming stuff offsite. They're re-showing some moments, highlights from uh, TNA's past. Yeah. And so. The glory years. Yeah. The glory years. So, yeah. so I, I think it's a way to kind of reduce maybe time, you know, filming all these other matches in the ring. They're just they're filling up t- uh, the two-hour weekly show with this. So, Wrestle House, we'll, we'll see how it goes, how it, um, it progresses. Like I said, it's going to be very goofy, lighthearted stuff. And like I said, this is probably just to keep part part of the roster occupied since none of them are in major storyline. So, yeah. yeah, we'll see how it plays out. And then, uh, yeah, we saw the uh, Sammy Callahan. She, he hacked uh, Katie Forbes' uh, big photo reveals, her uh, uh, big reveal of all these like sexy photos she had. She was offering for free 99. Was it like OnlyFans or whatever? Something like is. that, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's just for Sammy Callahan. just plays up that he's been this new hack character. So... Anyway, I, there were some funny drops from Katie Forbes. I think might be funny to, to isolate. Oh. But anyway, just because she... She is rancid. So then, that is uh, terrible. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying, like, do, do are they worried that RVD's legacy is going to be tarnished by no. this, this current storyline <laughs> with Katie Forbes? But uh, no, uh, he's fine. So I think ultimately it's going to set up Sammy Callahan versus RVD. That that's yeah. what this is leading to. Yeah. And then yeah, the main event was the Good Brothers taking on Reno Scum in uh, the main event. So finally get to see the Good Brothers wrestle in action. Uh, Richard, what are your thoughts on this main event? I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought I think uh, Gals and Anderson both look super jacked. I yeah. mean. <laughs> I, I did just watch them on uh, their Talk, talking, talking shop of mania last night. I got to watch <laughs> that. I, I would love to. We should do a review for that at some point, maybe this week. I got to watch it. <laughs> You'll uh, enjoy it. I, I thought the match was really good for uh, a main event tag team match. I would say Doc Gallows. I like his newer outfit. It just it, he moves a lot better in it. It seems like I, I was just going to say it looked like he was moving better. And it was just kind of like I think that might have been one of those things that WWE might have been holding them back on. Because I, when he was there, I'm looking at him like is his, his knees jacked up or something. He's like he kind of limping. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. And here he's just really smooth. Yeah. Very so, agile. But my one thing, Carl Anderson, though. Did he forget his gear, or is he trying something different? He's I wearing... think he's trying to go for the camouflage look, kind of like John Cena esque. Yeah, he's yeah. just wearing camouflage shorts, and I was like, yeah. "Okay." I mean, but I kind of like this. Maybe he's making new gear. Maybe they're not ready yet, even though he had three plus months on the sideline to make some. It's a good look. I, I can't complain. I don't know. I was just thinking something a little more resemble what Doc Gallus is wearing. So that's what I was kind of thinking. But yeah, yeah maybe it's easier, you know, it, it, for him to wrestle in short. So I don't know. It was cool. So, uh, but yeah, uh, just uh, for the most part, entertain episode impact wrestling. And yeah, we're going to keep watching it and keep doing reviews on it for the time being. So we'll see how this plays out. Yeah. So. I just have yeah. to see. It has a lot of potential right now. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like the mixture of veterans and the the younger talent working together. So it's going to be interesting. The tag teams, the tag teams really get you through the show. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll keep watching as long as they keep giving me good matches. So yeah, absolutely.